I am back again with David Brown, and David's going to talk a little bit more about BIPA. We're talking about, uh, in the news recently, Facebook just reached a, a very large settlement uh, related to claims of abuse relating to BIPA. And Dave, what does this mean with you know such a large settlement? Is this, is this like inviting all the plaintiff attorneys to file more and more class action lawsuits? Well, this has been a very active area of the mm -hmm. law. And, and it, uh, yes, the answer is yes. Uh, there are, there's a lot of class actions going on in this area. And it's largely as a result of the low threshold to become a plaintiff in that you don't have to establish specific damages. And the mere fact that the law has been violated can make you an aggrieved party mm -hmm. who has standing to file a lawsuit. Uh, so, uh, just so we can be clear, can you, can you give some examples of what constitutes BIPA, you know, biometric data, and what isn't? Well, fingerprints are biometric data, or retina scanned. Um, the veins in your hands can be evaluated uh, as biometric data, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and other things as well. What about the way you walk or the way you talk? Their voice recognition has okay. been considered to be really? biometric data. Hmm. Um, so is handwriting is not biometric. So data. D devices like Siri and Alexa, is there a potential they're going to fall into that? I think okay. that, that that is certainly a possibility. Okay. Yes. So are, are we going to have to sign a contract before we use Alexa or Siri to protect her, for them to be protected? Well, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't propose to uh, advise Siri and Alexis as to how to conduct their business. <laughs> okay. But um, uh, very good answer. <laughs> uh, I, 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 uh, I, I think that there is a possibility, certainly. Hmm. So, w what do you think the future holds for BIPA-related lawsuits? Well, I mean, this is certainly an opening for plaintiff's lawyers mm -hmm. to go after. And you see this in a variety of different areas where the law creates a low threshold to getting in the courthouse door and potentially high exposure for defendants. You have plaintiff's lawyers who are attracted to that and they go after it. And that's currently what's happening now with BIPA in Illinois and why yeah. there are so many lawsuits filed. And I think it relates to the, the fees are based on each instance of biometric data. So, you know, potentially you have multiple videos, multiple pictures, this data being stored. And if you can be aggrieved without the data even getting hacked, it's a, a very large potential, which is probably why Facebook settled, because what it could be could be much greater. And they probably uh, weighed their risk and decided it made sense to settle. I think that's probably right. Yeah. Well, thanks again for being on the show. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks for having me.